asking me if for honor's dead seven years on and all i can say is they're still releasing new heroes so i guess not population seems pretty healthy jaguar warrior the ocelotl is the newest addition to the cast and we are giving him a shot today i have not played very many games yet we're gonna saw his hat off with the queedle mecha weedle maha queedle however the hell you say it Dude, literally dropped for the first time this morning. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a few elements of the character that I feel are maybe a little bit undercooked, underdeveloped. I love that combo. I don't know why that doesn't cause bleed, but it's pretty freaking cool. That'll do. Yo! A uh, good example of what I mean is the stalker stance. Feels like it's a decent ganking tool. Oh my god, what's happening to the camera? <laughs> but you only have the one option out of it. I'll show you right here. Essentially just go into stalker stance and then you can just do the overhead. It's like a roll catcher and that's literally all you can do out of that stance. I kind of wish he had more options out of that. I do agree, I'd like to see more bleed as well. He's using an obsidian weapon. The whole point of it is to cut. I've heard stories of this thing being able to cut the head off a horse. That makes zero sense to me. Like, how would it do that? It's a club in the center. It's not steel or a blade all the way through. How are you gonna chop something that thick off in one swing or even four swings? I don't think it'd be very good at dismembering. But it would be very good at cutting, that is for sure. This character has infinite chains. As long as you don't do the same move twice in a row, you can keep the chain going. So like, alternating lights, heavies, bashes. And if you do the same attack twice in a row, it'll give you a special property on the finisher, like unblockable with the heavy and stuff like that. And when you die and you have your first perk unlocked, you turn into a ghost, which is essentially For Honor's take on Aztec obsession with life and death. And you can reposition, but you can't respawn normally. This is the only way you respawn you unless you get executed. So you become a ghost, you run around, you respawn, but with less health than you would normally have. And you can cap points, which is pretty useful can also lead to some pretty interesting ganking opportunities. People don't expect you to be behind them. Because the other team can't see you, only your, only your team can see you when you're in ghost form or spectral form. I'm shocked there are more people playing Ocelotl right now. I totally thought I'd be the only one. That was really stupid. Let's finish. So these guys are going to keep respawning on this point, I think, because they won. They won it. But the funny thing about it is that I can just keep killing them over and over again because they're not going to respawn with much health. Yeah, see? <laughs> they keep coming back. I really don't recommend doing that from neutral too often. It's pretty easy to block, but it's funny. It's meme -y. I like it. It makes me happy. 
And I honestly have secured a bunch of kills doing it, but I think I think better players are gonna be able to parry that, even in ganking situations, pretty easily. Oh, it's so sick. I love that. Not smart. Very dumb. I'm in danger. Oh. I don't know what to do. No, I had revenge. You lost. James Hard voice. All right, I'm gonna run away. It does pin too, by the way. It's one of the reasons why it's considered a good ganking tool is you land that overhead from the pounce and it's gonna delay whatever attack or Ow, thanks, Shin. Whatever attack your opponent was trying to do, and it gives your teammates more time to do some cool stuff as well. So I bet you there are some nasty hundred to zero ganks you can set up with that, but like I said, it is pretty telegraphed. Oh, shit! That'll do. I want to flex so bad. I feel like I keep trying to deflect people. All right, let's end this. Damn, I'm fast as hell. All right, watch this to Pasta Pili. Big Spear. That's an automatic guaranteed grab if no one else hits him. That means a free heavy. And a decapitating shaman. The only good kind. So says Quantemlok. Jaguar warrior. Ow. That was smooth. Victory. I hate it when you faint stuff and people don't respect it. Because we're all bad at the game. <laughs> I'm doing high level mind games and mind games don't work on you. Because there's no recognition the mind game is even happening. There's no understanding. I just wish they'd do some new maps, man. Like they'll do the headdresses and they'll do a little bit of cosmetics to give a little bit more flavor, which is appreciated. And I get it, they don't have a big team. But imagine this, but not in like some beaten down ratty castle. Imagine fighting in Tenoshi Lan on temple steps with a jungle sprawling in the distance. That zone has armor. And very generous hitboxes, so pretty useful if you're getting ganked. You're in trouble, son! <laughs> Alright, I'm running away. 
Where are you going? Pretty nasty place for a trap. I like that. That's like three separate pins. He does speak Nuwadal. I think I'm saying that right. Maybe I'm not. You lost zone eight. Like ancient. Aztec. At least what we know about it. Which is pretty cool. A lot of cool voice work in this game. For all the characters, really. I don't like you, Labro. A lot of my teammates and Dom have an aversion to ganking. It's like... Basically, I have to be the one that does it. They're like, oh yeah, you're fighting? I'll go elsewhere. But dog, I'm not that good. <laughs> I can't just win all my duels at the drop of a hat. Woohoo! You all fire, dog! There's a couple of really dumb executions that I'm not going to be purchasing with steel. Let me go cap C. I really don't want them to take it. There's a blowpipe one that's kind of a universal execution and it's like very tactical, cool. Does a bunch of rolls and stuff and Your team looks like a is breaking. try hard SWAT member, want to be SWAT guy. It's kind of embarrassing. Your team rallied. Watch this. Your team rallied. I'm gonna saw your head off. That was pretty cool. Well, this is pretty bad. Like, really bad. Enemy team is breaking. Why aren't you on fire? Yeah. Well, I tried my best, friends. Round one. We got a Tiandi. Tiandi. Blowing boogies out his nose. Actually looking really kind of swag with that fireworks display. Kind of like that. Oh my god, he looks so freaking cool. What? Don't do that. Victory. Where's your head, dude? Yo, if you've never tried Age of Empires 2 Conqueror's Edition, and play the Montezuma campaign, do it. It's the entire story is narrated by a Jaguar warrior, Quatemoc. And he kind of goes up to the ranks. I don't want to spoil it too much, but uh, he is the, I wanted the wall. 
I don't get the wall. He is the nephew of Montezuma in the story. I absolutely adored the narratives in those Age of Empires campaigns. Just super well done. Why does it not cause bleed? I'm literally like using a scissor motion with obsidian. It's like the bleediest bleed that ever bled. Round two. Is it from Dead by Daylight? I don't know why I pushed him there, that's kind of stupid. It's not like I was close to the wall. <laughs> Dude, that's my favorite thing to do with this hero. That's my favorite. Are me, Timber, Xerxes. Gotta parry that dog. Victory. Don't mind me, just clearing out zones. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my, oh my god. That man just plummeted 30 feet through an announcer's table. I like that one. That's a good execution. A little slow. That one's fast. Leave me alone! Nobody likes you, Warren, go away! Fat boy just got Assassin's Creed Ezio Auditorade. Altaird. He's a legend. You're a warden, legendary. I don't know if I should do this again. Probably not. I'm gonna run away. Nope, oh, let's not run into the wall. It could just be Then I'm just playing with baddies, but it does seem to hit a lot. So maybe not a completely useless stance, Stalker. Yeah, I mean, like, it makes sense, right? Like, if you're trying to parry an attack from somebody else, then that comes in at the right time. That's tough. Execution is brutal, my lord. I do 
do feel like a badass when I'm clearing zones with this character too. You got running attack and kind of spin the Mahaquidal in your right hand and then just go to town. Infinite chain until you're out of stand. Where am I needed? How do I reach these keys? <laughs> Double armor assault. Enemy team is breaking. Wait, does resting not give you renown? Your team is breaking. Should have parried that. Enemy team is breaking. Okay, that was cool. That was real cool. Off with his head. All right. I didn't like that very much. Not a good situation. Batman, save us. With your big ass sword. I mean, we're super freaking dead, but. Oh, this is doable. No, this is doable. 2v3, that's not too bad. We're gonna be healed up. He might even have his level four feet and stuff, which I don't even know what Highlander gets. I'm sure it'll be something cool, right? I want him to stab many people with his Claymore and make this very easy for me. Okay. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? That can't be real. Dog, that can't be real. He catapulted himself. Did, did he try to suicide? Or was he just bat- like- What? He had full HP and then just insta-died. Because he catapulted himself. I don't- did he? There's no way he gave up in a 2v3, right? I don't, I'd almost rather him just be stupid. Round one. There's been a lot of other ocelotls today. Just deathless. Bro, you can't even hear that? Why, why would you pay 7,000 steel for that if your enemies can't even hear it? What? It's very dumb. Blah! Blah! Yeah, I should not get it. <laughs> New hero. People are learning. Nope. Yeah, he doesn't get anything guaranteed after his bashes, by the way, in, in the chain. If you land a bash, there's nothing guaranteed after. It's like glads. So you can still dodge away, you can parry, you can do all sorts of stuff. Oh, so I'm getting hit by that. <laughs> Nice. Ooh. Oh my god. No one knows how to counter guard break. 
Not a single one was landed that game. Match. Round. It's all right. He's got a spear in his throat. He'll be fine. Shake it off. Victory. Blah. Yeah, see, like that's that's not hard to parry. <laughs> At least not from neutral on there. Nice. Brutal. Absolutely freaking brutal, dude. You know, Warmami was my first hero to rep 8. And ever since they gave her all those iframes on her dodge heavy, I kind of hate playing against her. <laughs> No, I should, if I got parried there, I was just dead. Homie, who is this? He's goddamn Neo from the Matrix. What the ass? Oh my god, he's like light pairing me and she. And then missing his punishes. What is going on? I think we lost, boys. Oh, it's just a straight up disaster. Put me out of my misery. I don't want to be here anymore.